What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing with you my top Call of Duty games of all time. This is just based on my opinion and it's just based on the Call of Duty games I have played. And basically it's just the top six Call of Duty games I've played. I haven't played them all in the franchise, but I've played quite a few. So let's just get right to it with one of the first ones, it's actually one of the earliest ones I remember playing, and I believe it might be the first Call of Duty game I ever owned, and that is Call of Duty Finest Hour. I remember playing it on uh, PlayStation 2 really long time ago. I'm not sure exactly when it came out, but I think it was a version of Call of Duty 2. Back then, I think they just made it come out, and it was Call of Duty Finest Hour, but I believe it was a version of Call of Duty uh, 2. It's based in World War II, like last year, Call of Duty went back to World War II and named the whole game after World War II, but I believe last year is the last time they're going to be doing it because they seem to be going more into the futuristic route. But this is the first game that I ever remember playing. I remember you used to have to go and you have to try to go and attack and kill Nazis, so it was really, really an interesting concept at the time. So that's the first game, Call of Duty game I ever played, so that's why it's on my list. Next up is World at War. I remember this one on the PlayStation 3. I might be wrong, but I believe it is the first time that had a campaign two-player. So you and a friend could be playing on the same system and having do the campaign. So it was really, really interesting. I don't think they made a game before that that you could have two-player campaign. Um, I don't think it was online. I think it was strictly just for, you know, your friends come over and they can play it with you. So that was that. And I think it might be the first time Zombies was ever introduced. Now, it was a very cheap, simple Zombies game on there. You're just in one location. I'm not sure if they had DLC, but you're just in one location trying to fight them off. Honestly, I've never been a fan of Zombies. I've never liked Zombies. I like zombie games on their own, but Call of Duty kind of ruined it for me, and I just really do not like it. I don't really enjoy playing Zombies. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But that game was really fun. I do love the concept of everything it was about. Next up is Black Ops 2. You're probably wondering why Black Ops 1 isn't on this list. And that is because I've never played Black Ops 1. And it's based on games that I've played for Call of Duty. So Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is the first game that I played in the Black Ops series. Honestly, I believe that is the highest online rank I ever got in Call of Duty. I think I went to like 8 Prestige. Back then, I think... Uh, before the Mafia, I used to play it all the time with my friends. We used to play it every, basically every night after school. We'd come home, we'd play Call of Duty Black Ops 2. We had fun with it. It used to be really fun. I used to love the maps back then. The older maps, in my opinion, are some of the best maps and the maps that I remember the most. Um, and then whenever the Mafia came out, we, uh, we decided to play Call of Duty and it branched out from our WWE games. And we used to play a lot of it with the Mafia, so... I made it to uh, 8 overall, or sorry, online, my prestige rank was 8, so it was pretty high. I think it's the highest it's ever been, and it might be the highest it's ever going to be. I don't think I'll be able to do that for World War II. Next up, speaking of World War II, is World War II. The reason I put it on this list, it is the most recent game that came out. Honestly, I think they're lacking some more of the history behind the World War II. I do like Campaign, I haven't finished it, so I do plan on doing that. But it's just, it seems like it's lacking the history for me. And I'm a history buff. I enjoy that in my video games. That's why I like Battlefield. Um, but it, it's very interesting. I do like it. I'm, I like that they're not futuristic. It's the first game in the past few years that is not futuristic. But unfortunately, they're going back to being futuristic. So I am going to hate the games going forward. And I might not be getting them. But World War II brought hope for me. It was kind of a throwback to the old to like Finest Hour back whenever it was back in World War II. So it was very interesting and it's a really, really fun game. Next up is the one game, in my opinion, it is the number one game of Call of Duty that is hated on the most. I don't really get it. When it came out, yes, it was different than all the other games ever made, but to me, it was more enjoyable. I loved it. I honestly think it is one of the best Call of Duty games ever made. That's why I'm putting it on this list. And that is Call of Duty Ghosts. A lot of people are probably going to start bashing me in the comments. That's okay. You have the right to your own opinion. And this is mine. So it doesn't really matter to me anyways. Online was amazing. 
I think it was the first time they had a uh, huge uh, bigger maps than they ever did before. I think it was the first time that they had the maps, uh, the, the environment in the maps could change depending on how you played. So if you're at the gas station, you could shoot out the tanks and the whole gas station would explode and collapse basically. And different maps would have different things like that. I think it's also the first game that when the nuke went off, it basically looks like a war zone. All the buildings collapse and it was actually like a nuke collapse, not like the other games in Call of Duty where the nuke goes off, but nothing else changes in the game, which to me, it brought more realistic to it. And of course, there's always the gun game uh, improvements, which I was a huge gun game fan back then. And from going from Black Ops 2 to Ghosts, Black Ops 2, I think it was the first time I played Gun Game. I'm not sure if it was the first time it was introduced. But the next year, they really improved. Instead of having the same exact guns in the same exact order, and you kind of knew what it's going to be every time, it would change it up. So you knew what type of gun. You knew you'd start with a pistol, but it could be any pistol. It could have any attachments on it. It was really fun. And, of course, with Gun Game, I became 12. I ranked 12,000 out of 10 million. So it was the best year for me. I only remember playing Gun Game the most. That's what I had the most fun on. So I played a lot of uh, Gun Game on my time. That's why I became 12,000 out of 10 million for my rank. So it was really impressive. I did like online. And of course, you also have aliens. And it was the first time they did something outside the box. They didn't do zombies, which I've never been a fan of. But I was a huge fan of aliens. And I think I managed to escape twice, if I'm not mistaken. And it used to be so much fun. Me and Jack used to play. A bunch of the Mafia used to play. A lot of my other friends used to play. And it was a really, really fun game back then. Last up on this list, in my opinion, is if Ghost isn't my top one, this one will be. And it is Modern Warfare 2. It is the first time, honestly, I started playing online games. I think that's whenever I started to break through. And instead of just buying them for the campaign mode, because that's what I used to buy them on, especially for the PlayStation 2. I never had it connected to internet. Uh, it was the first time I started playing it and playing it with online. So I used to have a few friends that had it on the PlayStation 3. We used to play that. So we used to have a blast with it. They had a lot of weird modes back then, but fun modes. And I remember there was one mode where you're up on a bridge and you had to try to take it over. So it was really fun. The maps were really cool. There was trenches back then, I think. It's the first modern game that I've seen trenches in. It was the first time I started to snipe. It's the first time I started to do so much things. So it's a really fun game on its own. And of course, the campaign in that game is honestly one of my favorite campaign Call of Duty games. So all in all, these are the top six Call of Duty games in my opinion. Comment down below one of your favorite ones. Just because I didn't list it doesn't mean I don't like it. But it also means that it does, is not the worst because... I only listed the ones that I've played before, and I've played multiple ones. I've played other ones than just what was listed, but I didn't play all the games. So I might have missed one that was a really good game, but that's because I've never got a chance to play it. But anyways, I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.